Okay, last time I uh, mentioned that I wasn't going to play as this new interesting character. This time I am. It's the defect, and it's a robot wizard. Uh, so already starts off on the right foot. And the reason I didn't play them the first time was that I wanted to kind of introduce the game a bit uh, before getting into this class, which is just like one step more complicated than the others. Not difficult to play, there's just an extra concept you've got to understand. Okay, these starting advantages. Which one do we want? Um, with the defect, I think this is an especially bad choice. You lose your starting relic and you get a random boss relic. Boss relic's great, but your starting relic channels one lightning, and you'll see why that's that's just great. It's just really, really useful. Um, transformer card. I can't remember if I get to choose which one it is. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. I do get to choose. Great. Uh, I think strikes are the least important thing for him. Uh, he starts with a... You know, lightning Orb for free at the start of every battle, and I can summon one as well. And uh, Lightning Orbs do damage, that's the most important thing to know right now. Um, so strikes are less important for me. Whereas defends are just as important because I don't yet have a way of... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> so I don't know if this is actually like a mini game where I'm supposed to like see the thing I want and then click to get it. Uh, I suspect it's probably just pure random. I don't know, maybe it is. Uh, I know exactly what I want, but it wasn't that. <laughs> um, I will explain the orbs when we get into combat, because it's easier if you can see what's happening. In terms of my route, I am always looking for shops, because shops have a wide selection of cards, and I feel like this game usually comes down to, did I get offered the right card? There is a shop on that route as well. If, if this goes well, I might go for this elite, but um, either way, I'm going to start on this path. So, the defect has three orb slots. These are these things around your head. And the front one is special. The front one is your current orb. Um, and if I cast this spell, it's going to channel one lightning. That means it's going to add the lightning orb in here. And if I cast another one, it would add it in there. Um, and the significance of the, the frontmost one is that if I then uh, summoned another orb and there wasn't room for it, they all get pushed forwards this way. And the front one gets evoked. Um, so... This is going to stay around me, like, indefinitely, unless I evoke it. Um, and evoking it means you kind of consume it for a stronger benefit. Uh, its passive benefit is every turn it's going to do 3 damage to a random enemy. Uh, if it gets evoked, it does 8 damage to a random enemy, so more than twice as much. So you can just cast... If I just keep channeling lightning orbs forever, I will always have a full set of 3, and I'll be constantly evoking the front one and doing 8 damage, which is great. I'm actually going to... What am I going to do? No one's attacking, so I think I will add another lightning orb. So it goes there. Um, like I say, if your slots get full and you try and put another orb in there, that automatically evokes the front one and everything moves around. Uh, but you can also get cards that evoke manually, and this is an especially good one. This evokes it twice. So that's not going to evoke both of these, it's going to evoke this one twice. So I get 16 damage basically, and the, the orb is consumed, but I only lose one orb and I, and I get benefit twice, which is awesome. Oh, what beautiful. Just killed one of those straight out. No point in casting any block. So at the end of the turn there, that little another 3 damage hit this one. Because that's just going to happen at the end of my turn every time. When there's only one enemy, lightning is always going to hit that one enemy, so that's kind of cool. Um, he's got 18 health, like, sorry, he's got 19 health and I can do 18 damage this turn, which is kind of annoying. Oh no, it's great, because I will do 18 damage, he'll have 1 health, and then I know for sure at the end of this turn, the lightning is going to hit him, he's the only enemy available. So the fact that it's random doesn't matter. And it's going to do 3 damage, which will kill him. I really like the defect. I heard, I was reading on the forums earlier that uh, people think he's underpowered in general. That might be true, but uh, I just find his mechanics really compelling and exciting. So this is a really cool card. Um, it will evoke the front orb, uh, but also re-summon it. They use the word channel. Uh, channel's kind of weird, because that means something different in World of Warcraft. Um, but basically, the orb will be consumed, you get the benefit, but then the orb comes back, so you still have the orb. Uh, usually the, the only downside of evoking is that the orb is gone, and the orb was going to give you a passive benefit at the end of the turn, and now it's not. But th this one is... Um... Ooh, hello. Something's changed. This is also a great card. It gives you more slots for orbs, so you can have more at once. Uh, the, my ooh there is because this used to give you one orb slot, and now it gives you two. Um, you used to have to upgrade it to get two slots. Two slots is great. But, um, there is actually uh, a reason to not want orb slots. Because like I say, when you fill up your orb slots, next time you summon one, it evokes the front orb. 
And evoking is good. Like It makes more powerful effects happen. So I've definitely had games where I gave myself too many slots and I couldn't fill them all, so I wasn't getting those free evokes. I was getting loads of passive benefits. But it's kind of, you want to pick one or the other. Do you want to have loads of slots, or do you want to try to just constantly be summoning loads of orbs and, and pushing them forwards? I think I am. Um, how am I going to go for this? These are all good, actually. Stack is good as well. Uh, you get block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile. So if you get that in your starting hand, it's not very good because you haven't discarded anything yet. But um, after the first hand, there are five cards in your discard pile. So at that point, it's already as good as a normal defend. After, if in turn three, there are ten cards in your discard pile, at least. Um, and so it's twice as good, so that's great. But I've only actually got 10 cards in my entire deck right now, so it's, it's not a good early game card. I think I want Capacitor, because three slots is not very many, so having five is going to be fine. Uh, Capacitor is a power, which means you cast it once, the benefit lasts for the rest of the fight, but the card is gone. So I'm not going to get two, it's not like that card's going to keep coming up and I get two slots every time, it's just going to be, I get two slots, um, and then I'll have five slots and that's it. Don't get any more. I, am, I love when you have when you have a shitload of slots and you fill them up with lightning. It's so good because just <laughs> everything's getting hit all the time and it's just absolute chaos. So here I'm actually uh, lightning. There's a sort of extra strategy to when you do it because um, uh, you want to know who it's going to hit and then you can make more informed decisions about who to hit with a strike. So I'm going to do that first. Killed one of them. Great. And actually, I can <laughs> I can use both of these. Okay, this is not as good as it looks. I can do 12 damage, and he's only got 10 health, but he's also got curl up, which means after I hit him the first time, he's going to add 6 block. So to kill him, I would actually need 16 damage, which I don't have. Um, so I'll probably hit him once and then defend, I think. I could defend twice and not take any damage. I might do that, actually. It's kind of counterintuitive, but I think I'm going to get plenty of opportunity. This guy doesn't get any stronger. Actually, maybe he does. But it's not scary anyway. Um, so now, uh, well, this time I can't completely defend myself, so I'm going to channel some lightning. I'm going to hit him, and I'm going to defend. I'm not casting the capacitor this time because I'm. I don't think I'm going to get enough orb cards to actually fill even the slots I have. So we'll take one point of damage here, but that's okay. And that'll do it. <laughs> so, orbs that attack people um, are a little bit different to normal attacks. So that curl up thing actually doesn't happen if an orb hits him. It's only if you play an attack card. Uh, so attack cards say attack on them, and that's like a special significance. Anything else that does damage is not an attack. So, static discharge, whenever you take damage, channel one lightning. That, I have had great benefit from that before, but it's kind of, it's a good card when your build is kind of bad, because if your build's really good, you don't really take damage. Um, go for the eyes, you weaken them and do a small amount of damage, it's free to, to play, which is nice. This one I've never seen before. Compile Driver, deal 7 damage, draw 1 card for each unique orb you have. So that's like, the more different orbs you have, the more cards you get, and you deal 7 damage. It's pretty good, if you have any orbs at all, you get to draw a card. 7 damage and drawing a card is pretty nice. Um, my only hesitation is, unless you draw a card, hmm, it's pretty good. It's, I don't love it. What I love is things that summon orbs, <laughs> and uh, if we can find anything that increases my focus, I'll be, I'll absolutely go for that, and I'll explain what that is when we get to it. I think for now I'm just going to pass up all of the, uh, the eyes, pretty good. This is kind of a defensive card, like weak, reduces their attack damage by 25%, which sometimes is a bigger benefit than playing a block card. Um, I guess they would have to be doing 20 damage um, for that to be better than a 5 block card, which is quite rare actually. But this one's free. And it deals a little bit of damage. I'm gonna skip it. I think that better cards are in my future. I still don't know whether I should do... Oh, that's annoying. I can't I can't get to the campfire and to the shop. In fact, I could do two campfires instead of the shop. But I don't really have any great cards yet, so... Um, I'm going to go this way. If this gives me the chance to remove a card, I will remove a strike. And it does. Ooh. I've had a card of 10 or more damage. Oh, I, I think... Hmm, I think this has changed, actually. I think you used to be able to just always destroy this, if you like, and get some money. 
and now you need a more powerful card. That's kind of nice that your what you have in your deck unlocks different story options. To call this a story options maybe a bit generous. <laughs> um, okay, great. I'm gonna get rid of another strike, I guess. This is it's actually rare for me to get this much uh, to get two cards out of my deck this early. So this might actually be a bad thing to have so few strikes, but hopefully just the orbs will come up more often. This this is gonna be fine. Hit him twice with that. I'm going to hit him with two strikes. These guys, they're very simple. They just, on the first time they cast a spell on themselves, that spell for the rest of the game just gives them three more power, three more strength every turn, um, which gets nasty really fast. Yeah, three. End of his turn gains three strength. Strength just adds to their damage. So he'll do nine damage next turn and 12 damage the turn after, which um, is bad. Should I do double energy now? Might as well. Uh, yep, yeah. and then I just play everything. Which leaves me completely protected, and I'm going to do three damage, which is not great. But slots will actually no use this, this battle, really, because I'm not going to have enough turns to build up these things. I've only got one thing that gives me orbs right now, which is not great. Um, I think we can kill him. That's going to be eight. Yes, we can. So Capacitor is kind of dead weight in my deck at the moment. I don't need it yet. Okay, Ball Lightning. I like this one. Deals damage and channels lightning. And the lightning is going to do damage. So that's really doing 10 damage. Um, and it's better than the card that does 10 damage because it, that 3 of the damage is going to happen every turn. I've That one probably has some use, but I'm not smart enough to do it. Um, I don't really like these kind of cards. It's standard attacks just aren't that interesting to me. I always want to like engage with the the um, class's special features and the orb is definitely the orbs are definitely the defect special features. So am I gonna go for the elite? I'm probably gonna regret it. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it. Oh damn it. Oh look, we're gonna have to face an elite later. Um so maybe I don't yet, because I don't have anything special on my deck. My deck's actually not very good right now. I've added almost nothing to it and <laughs> I've taken out some of its basic features. Um, so if we're going to skirt around this guy, I can actually go this way and have more fights. Because I want to get to this shop. Um, or I go this way and it might give me a chance to remove a card from my deck, which, to be honest, at this point I don't know if I would even do it. It's scary to have, like, no strikes. I want cards, so I'm going to take on the fight. Ah, this is the blob that splits. So, um, definitely do that. And I will do this, yeah. A little bit conflicted between I want to build up lightning, but I also want to do damage right now. When this guy gets close to 33 health, I want to like really focus my damage all in one go. In fact, this does 7, and I can do 12 more. Um, that is 19, which would take him down to 27. That's not good, actually. I don't want to do that. Um, oh, 27, and then he'd take 6 damage at the end, so that'd be 21. Still think I could probably do better. So at the end of this, he'll take 3 and be down to 43. I could do 10 more and be okay. I think I can just about do this. If I do 7 damage to him now, it'll be a 39. He'll take 6 at the end, that is 33. I think that's just at the threshold where he will... Not split? I hope so. Let's find out. It's not that bad if he does split. Well, it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I think I might as well do the orb slots. Correct about the value? Yeah, and he's not splitting. That's perfect. That is the exact right amount of health for him to have so that I can... Oh, this is good, because he's... It's a shame I don't have a dual cast right now, but... He's going to do a lot of damage, but if I hurt him enough to split him, which I will... Um, He's going to cancel that. So I haven't got it down. Got it down to 21, and then he's going to take 6 more, so 15. Um, that's pretty good. It, so the reason it's good to do a lot of damage when he's at half health is that both his his children, <laughs> let's call them, uh, inherit that health. So it's twice as effective to do damage last turn as it is to do damage this turn, because, um, yeah, for obvious reasons. Oh, look, I can get two more lightning. 
and dual cast. That's awesome. Oh, I should have dual cast first because I want to know who gets hit. Everyone. <laughs> That's gonna kill him. Beautiful. Man, that was smooth. Having just having a small deck is inherently good. Aha! Frost orbs, this is where it's at. Okay, let me just check what this other one is. Uh, genetic algorithm, gain one block. Permanent increases the card by block by two. Okay, so every time you... It, it also exhausts itself, which means you can only use it once per battle. Uh, but it gets permanently better each time you do. It's alright. Um, you know, at the end of a lot of work, you'd have a good block card, which is nice. But um, I like recursion a lot, but I've got to get frost. I like frost any time I can get it, basically. A frost orb gives you block every turn. Which is uh, only two block, but it gets a lot better with focus. We don't only focus yet. We may. So now that I have two different kinds of orbs, it's gonna there's gonna be some interesting strategy with like where I want them to be. In general, I want frost orbs at the back um, because I don't want them to get channeled to to get them evoked. Sorry. Um, when lightning orbs get evoked, it's great because they do a lot of damage, and I don't need them to stick around. But as much as possible, I want to build up my passive um, defense. And so having a lot of frost orbs and keeping them is good. And that's why having more slots is good. Having more slots is good for lightning too, but... Um, he's going to do 7 damage. I can't really do much about that. I'll just play my 1 defend card and that'll be it. Did a lot of damage for an opening turn though. Okay, so yeah, I, I can make a Frost Orb and a, and a Lightning, and I'll do both, and I'll do them in that order, because I want the Frost Orb at the back. Uh, so now, playing a single Defend is going to be good enough. That's going to uh, prevent all damage, because 5 plus the 2 I get from my Frost Orb um, will protect me completely. If you do evoke a Frost Orb, you get more block, which is nice, um, but in general I like to kind of build them up if possible. Uh, I won't cast that Capacitor. It is nice. But I'd rather take no damage this turn. I'm not sure if this guy gets stronger forever or if he just has like a variety of attacks and some of them are worse. Um, five damage and I'll get eight from the lightning. It's 13, it's not... Oh yeah, that will, will come, won't it? Yeah, so uh, my calculation there was that, that card did a certain amount of damage as an attack, uh, but because it's also going to summon a lightning orb that pushed the front orb forwards and evoked it, and that did 8 damage, so that's good. I might as well play defense, because it's there anyway, even though I know the lightning orbs will kill him. Ooh, ooh, lots of good things here, lots of good things here. Um. Buffer is cool, uh, just prevents the next time you'd... Uh, the next attack that would get through your block, basically, just doesn't hurt you. Um, that's kind of neat to play when you're going to take this massive, like a single massive damage attack. Uh, but I think if like an enemy's going to do sort of 6 times 6 attacks, uh, then this only blocks the first of those, so you still take most of them. Dark is another type of orb. Uh, a dark orb is passive thing that it does every turn is it just builds up its damage, but it doesn't deal any damage. And then when you evoke it, that's how much damage it does. And it builds up by 6 per turn, which is a lot. Um, I think I probably will get the dark one. I just like having a lot of orbs. I just like orbs. <laughs> and yeah, so we dodged the elite and we are going for the shop. I've got a good amount of money actually. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> so of course I run into a thief. This guy is going to steal my money when he um, attacks me. So, um, I might double my energy actually because, yeah, fuck it. I want to. I'm certainly going to do that. And then, can I do all of these things? No, I can't. Ah, oh, it's a shame actually. I think I'd rather take the damage. I want to deal a lot of damage to him. So, I'm going to do that. And I'll block what I can. I've got 7 block and he's going to do 10 damage. I'll take 3. Um, not much I can do about that. 
It's important to kill him so I get my money back. Ooh, excellent. We've got a bunch of damage cards. Wow, we've really got a bunch of damage cards. Uh, so I want the lightning to be ahead of the dark. Because um, the dark could do with some time to build up before it gets channeled. I got five block there from the frost orb getting channeled. Uh, I don't have the energy to block any more than that. I think I'll kill him. I think 10 damage is totally doable. Took some hits in the process, but... Yeah, ball lightning, here we go. That'll do it. Didn't get to use the dark orb. Ha. Okay. A beam cell... I was watching a streamer who was very good at the game and he was getting very excited about that. I... doesn't really help me because vulnerable... Uh, means they take 50% more damage from attacks, but like I say, orb damage is not attack. It's That means me playing attack cards, and I don't really have a lot of attack cards, and I'm not going to play many. So I'm not going to go for that. Rebound is an attack, and then the next card you play, you get to put it on the top of your draw pile, which means usually means you're going to get it next turn, although if you manage to draw some cards this turn, you'll get it this turn. That's nice. You play that, and then you play an orb card, and then it, it comes back around, which is cool. Um... And stack. I've only got 13 cards in my deck, so that was unlikely to do as much as 13. Um, tempted to just kind of skip it all. Because once I do get good cards, I want them to keep going up. Plus, I'm about to hit a shop, so whatever good thing I get here, if I do get anything, um, will come up more often if I have fewer cards. Okay, there's a frost thingy. There's this. So that gives me extra strength. Strength, like I say, gets added to all attacks, but I'm not going to be doing many attacks. What's the blue candle? Curse cards can now be played. Playing a curse will make you lose 1 HP and exhaust the card. Okay, so it's a way of, like, cost you some health, but you get rid of the card. That's not that interesting to me, because I can usually avoid taking any curses. Um, Yeah, it's going to be cool-headed for sure. And... Any potions any good? No. Energy's good, but I got it. And I could just do removal. I think I should. I've got plenty of cash. I'll still have money left over. The more strikes I get rid of. Did I pick this card? Oh no, that that came at the start, didn't it? It's actually been pretty useful. I'll keep it. Yeah, strikes I just don't really want. I'd much rather have orbs come up sooner. This thing, I don't really like cards like this, where it's good at first and then it gets worse and worse the more you play it. I feel like the tough fights are the ones that last a long time and um, this I've heard people get excited about this I love frost orbs and I use them all the time this is one that deals more damage the more frost has, has been used this combat but even when I super specialize in frost in my experience this has not uh, worked out to as much damage as barrage barrage is a card that just deals a certain amount of damage per orb that you currently have channeled um, of any type, but only the ones you currently have. Whereas this, I'm pretty sure it means that um, all the frost you've channeled, even the ones that have now gone because you've evoked them, um, is uh, all counts towards it. But yeah, in practice, it just didn't work out to that much. Okay, after this, do we go to another shop? Yeah, I think we should. I won't have a huge amount of money, but it might be something good. And I still fight an elite, so it's not... Oh, but if I go that way, campfire, let's me upgrade. Campfires are good. I don't have to decide just yet. What's this? I'll pick up... Upgrade two random attacks. Okay, ball lightning, that's worth having. And then that's my only strike remaining. I think those are my only attacks, actually. I only have one ball lightning, don't I? Yep, those are my only two attacks. So that strike is less... You know, if I... Uh, it's less important to get rid of that now. But, I don't know, 9 damage is not that great. Okay, if I go this way, might be a chance to remove a card. Um, I kind of just want more frost, don't I? And that and my chances are best with that. Also, I really want a card that increases focus, and I think my chances are best there too. Upgrading is good. But actually, none of the stuff I have right now upgrades really well. Except maybe this one. Yes, that one is great. Uh, if you upgrade that, you get just twice as many Dark Orbs, which is awesome. Um, 
this one doesn't give you any more frost when you upgrade it. And that one is already upgraded, yeah. Uh, so this is just three, yeah, that makes sense. And that becomes free to cast, that's cool. Yeah, the rest of these just mostly get cost less energy. Um, yeah, I still think that shop is better than a campfire to me right now. Upgrading dark would be great, but I don't have to do it right now. A little bit low on health. Ooh, gain 75 gold. I'll do that. I'm going to a shop. I'll probably have to rest at the final campfire, which means I've got no upgrades. But that's okay. Okay, he's going to do 13 damage. Um, I could cast two cool-headeds and uh, defend. These get me two each, and that gets me five, so that's nine total. It's still not going to do it, but I think it's my best option. I'll do these first because they draw cards, so there's a chance. Ooh. Oh, that would have been good. <laughs> it's not now because I've only got one energy. I think I, I assume... Do you think it means your energy after you cast it? I think it does because when you have three energy and you cast it, I think you end up with four. You don't end up with six or five. Um, Alright, it's got to be a defend, doesn't it? I don't want to take nine damage. <laughs> Capacitor would have been nice because I want to... I've got loads of orbs now. My deck's at only 13 cards, which is great given how much, how many orb cards I have. They're coming up all the fucking time. Um, hmm. I think I might dual cast. Yeah, I'll dual cast first. That's going to consume this orb, get double benefit from it, and leave me with an empty slot so that then when I do zap, that's going to go in the passive slot and stay there. If I did zap first, this would get evoked. Um, the frost would be at the front, and then dual cast would cast the frost twice, which gives me 10 block, which is good. Uh, but I think I can get enough block just by casting a, one of these cards. So it's better. I just did the opposite of what I said I was going to do. <laughs> Fuck. That was a misclick. Uh, okay. Now do I dual cast? No, I don't think so. Um, I could just play a defend and stop there. Because that would be enough. Or I could draw some cards. I don't know what drawing cards is going to get me, really. Maybe I won't. I'm just going to defend. Might as well play two of them. Yeah, I don't want to lose the Frost Orb, really. I'll lose the Frost Orb if by playing a Frost card that gets me another Frost Orb, <laughs> by all means. And maybe even with these. Um, yes, I'm going to do this. He's not even attacking, which is great. I could do all orbs, couldn't I? So that will channel it, but that's okay, because I'm going to give myself another one soon. Um, and yeah, I think I want darkness next, and then I only end up with one of these, which is not ideal, but I've got some other good orbs in play, and I did a shitload of damage. Yeah, he's going to die. This is cool, because he just cast a web on me that prevents me from playing attacks, and I'm like, I don't care, <laughs> that's not how I do my damage. Um, I can probably kill him, can't I? This is going to do 8, yeah, this is just going to kill him straight up. Um, I'll do this as well, because that's going to do the dark thing. The lightning would have killed him at the end of the turn anyway, but it's fun to do it directly. I'll take a ball lightning. Honestly, if all all my deck was just summoning lightning and frost, I'd be happy. I'm quite low on health for this. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I think... Hmm. This guy... Um, anytime you... After the first turn, right now he's, he does nothing, but after the first turn, any time I play a skill, he gets stronger. So you play a skill to block, and he gets stronger in response and does more damage, and that nearly counteracts the, the block you've done. So... We want to get some... There's no point in casting any block now, even though he wouldn't respond to it, because the block doesn't last to the next turn. Just getting as much damage as possible is good. I think all of my cards that summon Frost Orbs are themselves skills, so if we get stronger when I play them, uh, which sucks. And they also don't give much defense. So if I play this, he will get two strength, and this will give me two defense. So he'll do two more damage, and I'll be two more protected. So it's um, uh, not worth it at all, um, because that strength lasts forever. Um, so even if my orb stays in my thing forever, it's still kind of bad. I would love... Actually, you know what? It almost is worth doing it, because I'm going to do Ball Lightning, 
which will evoke this and do some damage in itself, which is great, and everything will move forwards. Then that thing will be there. And if I then do Cool Headed, uh, the Dark Orb will be there. If I then do Cool Headed, it goes to my front slot, and then I've got Dual Cast, which means I can get like 12 damage twice. Let me see what his health is looking like by the time I do that. I mean, I could do a 9 damage thing. Oh, can I do all of it? I should have doubled my energy first, fuck. If I play that now, I go down to 1, then it doubles back up to 2, so that's no use, is it? Yeah, I should have played that first. Um, so my options are... Strike for 9 damage and Dual Cast for 16, 25 total. Or I play Cool Headed first. Uh, that does 8 damage. Then Dual Cast for 24, which is 32. What did I say the first time? 16 plus 9, 25. Yeah, so the cool-headed strategy is better, and it gives me some defense, but it'll make him angrier, so the defense is actually kind of a net loss. I'm still going to do it. Some more damage. <laughs> Drew another cool-headed. I don't need that. I will do that 25 damage, though. 24. Okay. I'm about to take a shitload of damage. I might just... Let's just drink this, and that'll do a bunch more damage. Gosh, this is... Yeah, you're going to be on 8 health after this. If I could cast that strike, and I can, because I can drink an energy potion, he's going to die. He's going to take 6 damage at the end of this turn, he'll die, and he won't get to do his 18. Perfect. Ha! That went really well. Uh, start of additional combat... Sorry, the start of each combat, draw 2 additional cards. That's good. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> These are all good. Um, fission is actually crazy. It's So it, all your orbs get evoked, and you get a free orb slot for each one. Um, and interestingly, it gets exhausted. I think that's new. I think it didn't used to get it exhausted. Uh, if you upgrade it, it's cheaper, but still it is exhausted. So... Uh, that, frankly, is too many orb slots. You don't really need that many, um, especially if you've already got a capacitor like I have. But there is another card called Consume, which uh, takes away one of your orb slots to increase your focus. And focus makes all your orbs more effective. And that one does not exhaust itself. You can keep playing it. So the only limit on how much focus you can get is how many orb slots you have. And so a card like this that can get you a crazy number of orb slots is actually really good. Um, I don't have... Uh, consume yet though and I might not ever get it and I already have one way of increasing my orb slots so I'm not that tempted by this I think I've got to get the frost card <laughs> I think that's kind of boring dark is good but having loads of dark orbs I don't think it's um, I've never seen that snowball in a really spectacular way it doesn't they all have to build up I don't know I don't know what I'm saying really <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with with massing dark orbs, but I like frost. The only really successful runs I've ever had as the defect have been the ones where I go for frost in a big way. Because block is just a, a problem for everyone all the time. Okay, what is that? Whenever you would deal 4 or less unblock damage, increase it to 5. So if you're going to like do 1 damage or something, you still get to do 5 damage. Yeah, it's kind of good. Um, stack is really cheap. But I really like my current build where I just get orbs all the time. Um, gosh, that's really expensive for a card that you can only use once per fight. Just draw three cards for free. That's pretty good, I suppose. What does the um, upgraded version do? Four cards. I This one's pretty good. If you've got like three energy, you summon three lightning. Um, and that doesn't just fill up your orb slots, obviously. That could, if you already had three lightning and you summoned this, three lightning would get evoked, which is cool. And you'd still have three lightning at the end of it. Yeah, I'm kind of talking myself into this. <laughs> but it's kind of equivalent to like having a card that does one lightning for one action. Presumably if I upgrade that, it becomes X plus one. Yeah. I do like that, actually. And I can get that and remove a card. I would like focus, ideally. 
But actually, once it got focused, this is, it becomes even better. I think I might just do that. I think I'm just going to go for lots and lots of orbs. And am I removing that strike? It was useful recently. I could remove double energy. Like, if you cast that as your first thing in a turn, you get one more energy, which is not that great. On the other hand, it's you exhaust it, um, and so it doesn't take up space in your deck after you cast it. So really, the first time it comes up, yes, you get that card when you could have got an orb card, but it lets you play probably the rest of your hand. And what is the... I can't see what the upgrade is for it now. Um, tempted to just remove the strike. Yeah, I'm going to remove the strike, even though it's upgraded. Is that crazy? No, because look, ball lightning does 11 damage and it gets me lightning. I would much rather that came up more often. Huh. Alright, that's it. I could get stack. Stack. I'm keeping a very small deck though, I'm still only on 15. Do I want to hit an enemy or crush the mark? I think I want to hit an enemy. Yeah. Get off with more cards. Oh wow, look at this. Holy shit. So I'm going to get to fill my slots with lightning and get frost. Oh, and let's do it. Let's do double NG. Get my four. This is going to be awesome. Oh, I could maybe... Um, should I get capacitor as well? Yeah, I might as well, right? I was doing... I get to do all that passive damage and still get armor. Oh man, I've got so many orbs! This is literally all orbs. <laughs> all orbs, all the time. He's going to do 16 damage, so actually... Um, I very much want to get him below that magic 32 thing. Um, to stop him doing that damage. In a way... What's the best way of doing it? I can do... I could channel 2 frost. That would evoke one of these, and then do dual cast for the next one. Uh, that's going to be 24 total, so it's definitely going to hurt him. And then I'll take 9 from these at the end. It's tempting to do a darkness, but actually I think we have so many fucking slots now. It's going to take a long time for darkness to get evoked, It's going and it's going to be doing nothing all that time. So I'd rather stick to the ones I do have, uh, to, the, to the lightning and frost. So the only other thing I'm considering is, would it be better to have just more zap, do more damage in general? I could do one zap, one lightning, one frost, then dual cast. Or I could do two frost, then dual cast. I think I'm going to do two frost. Oh, that's interesting, that would channel two. It's not that interesting. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to dual cast. Yeah, he's really low now. Oh, he's even going to take another one, so he's going to be down to 14. That's great. And I get 6 free block each turn. I would love to get some focus. Ooh, they're both going to attack. Nasty. Um, they can do 17 damage. That's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, but if I dual cast, I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill one of them. So I'm going to do that. Didn't kill one of them. Didn't do that. Shit. Uh, shall I? I'm going to draw some cards. Oh god. Okay, I can channel two more lightning. Is that good? Not really. That would... I would have six damage, potentially. That could kill one of them, or I might not. Which is... kind of sucks. Um, dark does me no good in this situation. I could play two cool headeds, and then I've got uh, ten block. It's not really good enough, is it? I think Tempest might be my best option, because then I've got a chance of of halving the damage I'm going to take, on average. Yeah. Yes! Right. I'm going to take 4 damage, but that's okay. There is a power that makes it so lightning hits all enemies, instead of one random enemy. So that's amazing. Oh, this is easy now. Yeah, I... <laughs> Don't quote me on this, but I might have too much frost. <laughs> okay, in this case, I think I'd like recursion. 
get to evoke it and you get to keep it, which is kind of a win-win. What is the upgraded version of that? Oh, it's just free. That's nice. Okay, campfire. I think I've got a heal, haven't I? I'm only on 40 health. Yeah. Um, upgrades become mega important uh, or extremely worthwhile if you have any focus cards, because upgrading those is obviously going to be great. Okay, this is a guy who, after he takes 30 damage, is going to change form. So anytime he's about to do like a really nasty attack, I'm going to want to hit him really hard to try and make him change form, which uh, prevents him from doing his attack. I got so many cards. So I can put some lightning in play. I can put some frost in play. And I could also recur it. Oh, I can dual cast as well. I'll probably dual cast. Probably lightning, dual cast, and cool headed, I think. Capacitor's not super useful yet. I'm kind of in two minds as well whether I even need Capacitor. Okay, I think I'll do that first. Then I'll do this. And then I'll do this. Probably should have done the Frost one first because, or earlier, so that I could react to what that card is. Ha! Transformed him right away, that's great. In this form, I think he's not too scary in his damage, but he has three thorns, so every time I hit him, I get hit for three. But that doesn't apply to my lightning. Um, so I might even... If I did Tempest right now, that channels three, both these would get evoked. That would give me five block and deal eight damage. Um, five block is not quite enough, really, is it? I think I'd rather... Should I get another one of these? Kind of tempted to get a darkness actually. I could do dark, then I could do frost. And then I could even do tempest. Or <laughs> I could actually let's do this. I think I'll just compare that card every time it comes up, because it's just uh, it's always good. And saving it for later is just a fool's game, I think. You're never gonna get it exactly when you need it. Okay, do I have a plan to get 9 block? If I play this and I play this, I absolutely get 9 block. And I think I should do that. Uh, but I have 4 energy, so I can cast Darkness as well. Do I want to do Darkness before Frost? I think I do. I think when Darkness... The only way to fuck up with Darkness is you don't cycle your orbs fast enough to get it to the front. If you end up evoking it at all, it's almost always worth it, so... I don't mind, you know, you could keep it at the back for ages and let it build and build and build and then eventually deal it, but I don't think that's a great strategy. If I'm also going to... No, I'm going to do this. And... Ooh, interesting. I might do... Yeah, I'll do that and block. No, I won't, because that's an attack, so that is going to trigger the thorns, whereas Tempest is not... Um, so, I'm just going to play this. Maybe I don't do Tempest, because Tempest is going to evoke that. Yeah. And I don't want to. I think I don't want to. So right now I have 9 block. That's all the damage I'm going to take. If I did the attack, I would lose 3 of that block, so I would end up taking 3 damage. If I do this, I definitely... Uh, it will only do one lightning, um, and it will channel that. I'll end up with 12 block, which is more than I need, and I have less frost going forward, but I also get lightning, um, and that's arguably just as good. Maybe I'll do that. It's not the best use of that one, because uh, I can only use that card once, and I could have got a lot more lightning out of it, but I think the, the real advantage of that card is just, just flexible, because it can slot into whatever energy you have to spare for it. Oh my god, he's going to do 16 damage. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, unfortunately, in this form, I don't think any amount of damage I do to him makes him change form. So I've basically got to just block it. And I can do... I can get two more Frost, which will involve evoking some Frost. Um, that leaves me with... Uh, I'll have four plus five, which is nine, and then I cast that for fourteen. And he's going to do sixteen. That's okay. And it'll... I'm going to do 12 damage, which is nice. Yep, I think this makes sense. <laughs> I could just do all, all of these. 
Which, yeah, that kind of works, I think. Does it? Well, I'm going to do two of them anyway. Right now I've got nine. Um, I've only got one action left. So, yeah, actually it's better to play a defend, isn't it? Because if I play this, I'll end up with... I'll evoke that, which is nice for the damage, but then I only end up with six defense from my orbs and five there, which is eleven, and I end up taking five damage instead of two. Okay, now he's back in this form, so now I just want to do as much damage as possible. He's going to do 20 to me. Um, I can dual cast. That's going to get me 16. This will ultimately get me 14. That's 30 together. Um, but I don't have a way of doing that last 10. Oh, yes, I do. I got this. I think I'll just do that. I'd rather prevent this damage by hurting him than blocking it, because hurting him is what I need to do anyway. I think this capacitor, I don't think it makes sense to play that. I actually like that things are getting pushed forwards. Um, so, dual cast first. Then ball lightning. Um, and now I've got to do 13 more damage. He's already going to take 3 actually from this. And then... But I think I'll still do this, will I? If I don't do this, I get to keep the frost, which is good. Okay, I think I just do this. Now he's going to, he needs to take 3 damage, and that's going to do 3 damage. Pretty sure that's just fine. Do I want the capacitor? I've got the spare energy to do it. I think I do. Once the slots are full, it's exactly as easy to keep things getting evoked. And it won't take me long to fill the slots, so I'm going to do it. Lightning's really good for this form, because it just keeps doing the damage. And right now I don't want to evoke things much, because these are... Uh, I want to keep these in play if possible. Oh my god, <laughs> what a hand. Okay, well, decision-making process is easy. <laughs> Yeah, so having lots of slots is fine, but having lots of focus is better, because um, you don't have to spend that time filling those slots. You can just have fewer slots, fewer orbs, but they do more. Um, this is a case where dual casting a frost orb might make sense, because it will get me 10 block. He's going to do 16. Uh, at that point, I almost don't need anything more. Um, what else am I going to play, though? Putting a darkness in play is kind of tempting. But it's going to take a while to get to the front. During which time I'm getting less passive benefits. If I just did two frost, I'd end up with three frost. And... Uh, yeah, in fact, if I dual cast, then do two frost, that gets me 16 block total. I think that's the best thing to do. Because having this passive block is just giving me a benefit all the time. Yeah, that's 16. It's kind of a shame all these good cards coming up right now because I can't play them. Twin Slam. Oh, he's back. Okay. Another thing where I need to do a shitload of damage, and I didn't get any damage cards. So, it's a good job I have some frost going on. I could do... I could do two defends, which gets me 10, and one frost, which would leave me with... Eight from... Actually, no, that would give me five plus six, eleven. Yeah, that completely protects me. Um, if I do two frosts, I end up with four frosts and one that gets channeled. So that gets me five and the four gets me eight, which is thirteen, which is not enough. So... Did I say two defends and one frost? I think I did. Okay, so I currently have 11 block, and yeah, if I play two of these, then I get what I need, so I shall. That's one of the things I like about the defect, actually, is like, if you can block all of their stuff, you're not just treading water, because you've usually got some lightning in play, and so you're just doing damage all the time, and you don't have to worry about that. I've got to do 44 damage to get him back into his other form. That's crazy. 
Um, I think I should just do all lightning right now. What's the best way to do it? If I did recursion and dual cast first, doesn't matter which order I do those in. Um, both that's three lightning revoked, which is twenty-four. Then I'll do ball lightning to get another one. I think that makes sense. That's not better than ball lightning, but I'm going to do both ball lightning and that. I think it actually doesn't matter. Between these two, these do basically the same thing once my slots are full. I could get more frost. Nah. Okay, I'm going to do this one first. I don't really know why. <laughs> Sometimes, like, when options are effectively equal, I get confused because my brain keeps thinking, no, there must be some difference between doing these two different things, but I don't think there was. Okay, he's going to defend, and then he'll plan to attack me, probably for a lot. <laughs> since he's yelling destroy, yep. But I've only got to do 16 damage to him to make him turn into the other form. And I think I can do that. This is going to do 11, and then I've got 9 passive. Uh, so yeah, that'll do it. And I can even afford to... Should I do a frost? That keeps the frost in play, but puts it towards the back, basically. I think I should. Dark is tempting to. Oh, I can jewel cast. I don't think that's worth it. If I play a dark right now, I get less frost. The future. I think I'm going to do it, though. Yep. Can't really explain my decisions. I just want to do it. <laughs> to be honest, this uh, is going fairly slowly. <laughs> This build it works. It's pretty versatile, um, but it is maybe not um, the most powerful. Like this damage output is not that high. Just lots of passive damage. Okay, I kind of want to do all three orbs. Does that get me enough defense? It doesn't. I only have four defense at the end of that. So I could do two orbs and a defend. I think that's probably wise. Oh, this one hurts me, so I don't want to do it. I will do these two, I think. Zap is the same as Recursion in this situation. And I want the Lightning to be ahead of the Frost, so I'll do that first. And... that. And a Defend. Yeah, that's good. It's getting my Dark Orb pretty far forwards. I think by the time the Dark Orb is ready to be evoked. That will probably be the end of the fight. It will be doing a lot more damage and... So he's doing 16 now and I can't really stop him. <laughs> I think I probably just play both my frosts and a defend. I could even play... I've got six block from here and if I play both of these I defend myself completely. Um, but actually that's also true if I do a one of these, right? Because that gets evoked for five. Yeah. So I currently have eleven. And if I then play just one defend... Ooh! Ooh! Hello! This is interesting. Um, I'll take damage if I play this, because I don't get to block. But this is going to cast the 18 damage dark, and it's going to re-channel it. And I discovered recently that when it does that, from the phrasing of this, evoke your next orb, channel the orb that was just evoked. I kind of read that as channel the orb type that was just evoked, I get another dark orb. But actually, I tried it, and you get that particular orb, so it will be it will already be at 18 damage. It's questionable whether I'm actually going to get it to cycle all the way around again. But doing 18 damage right now is just pretty good. I wish I had dual cast. Is dual cast about to come up? It is. I think it's better for me to save... Yeah, it is. It's better for me to save... Uh, save the Dark Orb for when I have Dual Cast in my hand, and then I can... It will be double 24, which is going to kill him. And I have 16 block, which is exactly what I need. <laughs> this is just about working. This is it. 
currently a good build. So that, I believe, is the end of the fight. Yep. Doubling a Dark Orb is great. Okay. Creative AI. At the start of your turn, add a random power card to your hand. That is good. Um, there are two good things about that. One is uh, power cards include some that increase your focus. And like I say, I love focus. The other is that it adds it to your hand. Um, and that means it doesn't reduce... Uh, it doesn't replace something you would have otherwise drawn. It's just extra. The downside of that is when you get powers you don't want, you don't play them, that's fine, but they stay in your deck for the rest of the fight. They keep getting cycled around, and so they're kind of dead weight. And I have a very small deck. I think Creative AI is a net benefit. It's good. Uh, but it costs three actions, and that's just such a high price. That's just skipping your turn, you know. And if they're doing any damage to you, you're going to take that damage. Um... Buffer, like I say, that is good. To be honest, Buffer's like a great defense card. Um, and Thunderstrike, 7 damage to a random enemy for each lightning channel this combat. That's good, but again, it's 3 actions. That's just so many actions. <laughs> it's 3. I don't know if you know how many 3 is, but it's that many. I think I'm going to do Buffer. I mean, sometimes buffers only saving you, like, one health. But the nice thing about it is it just sits there. Like, you can cast it right at the start, and then if seven turns later is the first time you take damage, it helps you then. And I like stuff like that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Every two turns, gain one orb slot. So that is just slot heaven. You're getting them all the time. Um, and it's incredible if you have consumed. Because you can just keep on casting Consume and keep getting more focus and things get more and more powerful and you don't have to worry about running out of slots ever. If you don't have Consume, uh, this is the thing I had when I had a, a, a run where I was actually kind of had too many orb slots. It prevented me from evoking. It was like... Um, uh, it's sort of a moving goalpost. Like, you're, you're trying to fill up your slots and they keep getting more and more so you never do and then your orbs don't cycle and you don't end up evoking stuff. So I don't think I want it. It is great if you get consume. <laughs> if you don't get consume, I think it actually hurts you. This one, Elite's Drop Additional Relic. My deck is not good enough yet for me to go chasing Elites. I I did okay against the one I fought here, but it was a uh, it was rough. Um And if I had some focus by now I might go for this one, but I don't. So it's going to be the house. The house is kind of boring. You just get a potion, some gold, max HP, obtain all card. A grade one random card, that might be good for me because my, my, my deck is very condensed. It's all good stuff. Ah, cool headed. Perfect. Um, block potion's awesome. Okay. Cold snap. Love cold snap. This is just a really good block card. Hmm. I think it's going to be Cold Snap, isn't it? I would love some focus, but until then, just having a shitload of frost is going to do me. Okay, get to a shop easy enough. I think it makes sense to do this, then go here, and then to the shop, so I have more money when I get there. The start of Act 2 is kind of rough, I find. Okay. This guy does something nasty to you where, like, yeah, he's going to attack and he's also, the negative effect he's going to do is one where I think everything I play that isn't an attack adds some dazed cards to my deck, which is mean. Um, I've got some frost. I've got a couple of defends. Capacitor. If I had that energy card, I'd definitely play it right now because I want to play a lot of this. He's got a lot of health. It's kind of a long haul fight, unfortunately. Especially if your deck, like mine, does not have a huge amount of damage in it. I think I should play Ball Lightning at some point. I think maybe it makes sense to play that first. So I might do Cold Snap and one defend. 
That would get me 7 defense and I take 3 damage. The alternative is I just play 2 defense right now. And then I don't get... I'm not building up frost. And I'd like to be building up frost because... I seem to remember this guy gets quite nasty. Uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to play the defend. Let's do that. Took off a quarter of his health. That's pretty good. Ah, and he's not attacking this time. Great. Uh, so I think this is the turn where he's going to do the nasty thing. He's maybe vulnerable, which is really bad. It's a shame I couldn't have avoided that. Um... So I'm probably just going to get two frost and the lightning, and it's best to do the lightning first. Well, let's draw two cards. That's interesting. Um. Hmm. I might do ball lightning instead of another frost, because I don't need it. Will, I'll end up with two frost either way. No, I won't. <laughs> uh, okay. Doing ball lightning leaves me with only one frost, which is bad. I actually kind of wish I had the extra slots now. Ball Lightning just results in a lot more damage. It's 10 more damage right now. I think I'm going to do it. The amount of frost we're talking about is just not significant. Oh, that's cool. Buffer will protect me from that 27 damage, so I don't even need to protect myself. Um, probably will build up some frost anyway. I think I do double energy right away. Then I dual cast. Then buffer and cool headed. Yeah. I. Suppose I might as well do cool headed first, just in case he draws something good. No, maybe I want to do the one that draws fewer cards, because I don't actually want to get something great right now. Hmm. Well, now I want to do that capacitor and cool headed, but then I'm going to take a lot of damage, aren't I? <laughs> Let's just negate this. He's pretty low now. I can just keep doing a lot of damage. Good old buffer. Alright, Ball Lightning, and then Tempest maybe? Yeah. That actually might work. That might do it. Yeah, it's going to do it. Ha! Huh. That is usually a tough fight, and actually I did pretty well, thanks to Buffer. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be Cold Snap. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to turn down Frost. I feel like... I feel like the game heard me say, I'll just take Frost whenever I get it. And then it's like, would you? <laughs> like, every time? And it's testing my the limits of that claim. Um, so, the next time you lose HP, 6 times 2, I think it'll only stop one of those. Uh, I might do... I could do Cool-Headed Cold Snap, and then Capacitor? Slightly counterintuitive. That only gets me four blocks, so I take quite a lot of damage doing that. The alternative is I do two frost and a defend, which gets me nine. Then I only take three damage. That's probably better, isn't it? Uh, let's do this first. Ah, that's actually good, I think. There's no point in doing cold snap because it doesn't um, take away his. You know, I really do kind of need this capacitor. I'm going to do the capacitor, because I feel like I'm never going to build up enough defense or enough attack. Because to get through his armor, I'm going to need significant attack. I don't want to sacrifice all of my defense to do it. Alright. That's not a lot of defense, mate. <laughs> I hope that was worth it. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is going to go badly. I don't have enough block in this deck. I went for Frost above all else, <laughs> and Frost is eventually good, but it's not. Well, that would get through his armor. That'd be kind of nice. So I could do that, then Recursion, then Cold Snap. 
Or do I want to do defense? I think I'm going to do that. Oh! Plated armor only goes down if he loses HP from an attack. That sucks. Well, this is an attack, so enjoy. This is going to be a slaughter. <laughs> I've got 9 block. He's going to do 18 damage. I think I might drink that. Yeah, I don't think this is a good fight for me. I think I'm going to die. He's only doing 12 this time, that's much more reasonable. Um, I could do darkness, ball lightning and defend. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Still going to take damage. But darkness is important, I think. That's the only way I'm going to do enough damage to this guy. He's got so much block. And so now I'm in the nice situation where like playing defensive cards is good because I get defense. Because um, it's going to evoke these. But it's also getting my damage closer to my closer to the front. And I can do a lot of it. I can do all four of these. Wow. Then I should. I'm glad I went for that capacity, actually. I think I'd be dead by now if I didn't. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think I have to play those. Uh, 18... No, I'm going to get enough just from doing this. And if I play two cold snaps, I will nearly get through his defense. Oh wow, this thing could be channeled this time. Huh. I'm not sure I want to, actually. I've got enough defense already. His dual cast... Yeah, dual cast is potentially coming up, so... I think I... I don't need to play this, but I will. Yeah, if I can get dual cast on that, that's a big win. Because it's going to be 24 next time. Dual cast, dual cast, dual cast, yay! That was not as much as I hoped, actually. That was not as good as I hoped. That was, I was kind of relying on that to win me the game. Uh, I've got 6 block right now, that's kind of nothing. He's going to do 12... Uh, I can do both of these, and that'll get me seven. Oh no, it won't. It'll get me five. That's pathetic. He's got no armor right now, so now's a good time to do something like recursion. I can do this, but I think it only blocks six damage, so I don't think it's worth it. So I could do recursion and defend. Oh no, defend's almost useless. It's much better to do this. I mean, it's actually less block, but... Fuck, I'm going to take some damage. I'll do this first, just in case the card of draws changes my mind. It does? What would Recursion get me? Eight. And then I still have... Yeah, this is just straight up better, isn't it? That, right now, is equivalent to just summoning a lightning orb. This summons a lightning orb and does some damage. So let's do that. Yeah, I got 8 defense, it's going to do 12 damage, that's livable. Man, I really thought it'd be lower after that double dark. Hmm. Well, I can defend myself just fine. I might do darkness first. Yeah. I need another darkness. Um. So I've got 11 already, so I don't need to worry about defense at all already. So I could even do a zap. And then a cold snap. Maybe I should have done two cold snaps. Any defense heavy deck is usually slower than others. Um, this is an especially slow one. <laughs> we do 18. Fuck. Um... If I did Tempest, I would get three Lightning, which would channel all, th evoke all three of these. That 
I'll ignore what block it gets me. It does 8 damage for that, 12 damage for that, that's 20. He would then be down to 10. Um, and I would have... I think I would have 4 lightning in play, which is 12 damage, so that does it. And actually just... Tempest only summons lightning, so if I do ball lightning first, that's better overall. Let's see. Am I right? Yeah, I'm definitely right. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that bad. I didn't lose that much health. It just felt like I was drowned <laughs> the entire time. Um, you know, I don't go in for conventional attacks often, but that one is pretty good, isn't it? Do, would I be crazy to just go for more lightning? I want some fucking good cards. I want some, like, I want the power that lets lightning hit everything. I want some focus. Getting this doesn't really help me right now. I'm going to skip it. Please give me some focus or some... Ah, focus. Okay. Ooh, I can afford some relics as well. Upgrade two random skills. That's no good. They get next two curses. Don't care. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can get both of these. Amplify lets you play a power twice. And that's the best power. That could be really good. I don't see a world where I don't buy this. Um, and I'm pretty sure... I mean, the chance of this coming up in the same hand as the other one is... I guess it's like 1 in 4-ish. I don't know actually what the probability maths on that works out to. I'm pretty sure I want it. It's on sale. It's actually it's not that cheap, but I'm guessing it's really expensive normally. That gold border means it's a rare-ish one. Like that gold one is 200. Um, so I'm actually pretty tempted by this as well because so it's a good block card if you have zero block. I have a lot of frost, but frost gives you the block at the end of the turn. So during the turn when you play this, you do have zero block, and so that's a real nice magnifier. And I can afford both of these. I think I just go for it. I was sitting there saying, please give me some good cards, and it just gave me some great cards. But I very much want a campfire. I think I go this route because that focus thing, I'm pretty confident in saying when you upgrade it, it uh, gives you two. Yep, it does. And if you upgrade this, I think it does the next two powers. Yeah, which is... Oh, you know what? That's actually great for buffer as well. I can protect myself from two attacks. Upgrading this... Oh, wow. Ooh. And that can be doubled. Wow. I need upgrades. I need lots and lots of upgrades. Okay. Awesome. And there's only one enemy between me and the campfire. Oh, I'm excited about that defrag. Uh, I don't think I want that. I don't want to be cursed. I've got such a small deck. I mean, it's getting bigger, but it's still... It's 22. That's how big it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Remember that guy who was hard by himself? Well, now he's got a bird with him. Birds um, do rapid... Uh, they do, like, five attacks for one damage each, which is weird. Um, if you reduce their strength by one, they do no damage. Uh, but they do also make themselves stronger. And the weird thing about them is that when they're flying, all your damage... Okay, attack damage is reduced by 50%. So actually my lightning hits them for full damage, which is kind of cool. Uh, buffer would be a bad one to play if I'm not going to block all of that. Um, it might make sense to... Oh, Cool Headed lets me draw cards. I'm very keen right now to get Defrag. So maybe... What if I did Bull Lightning, then two Cool Headeds? The problem with that is that doing those later reduces the chance that I can have the energy left to play the card that comes up. Darkness is good as well for these guys. I wonder if I should have got that passive slot expansion thing. It goes up to 10 slots. And when you've got like 10 frost orbs, you're getting 20 free block per turn, even without focus. Um, so what I could do is play play both cool headeds 
Denner Lightning. Or I could play both Cool Headed Stenner Dark. That's strangely tempting. I think I'm going to play a Cool Headed now. Having Frost at the back is not as important as uh, potentially getting. Ooh, that's interesting. That might be good. That gets me one more Evoke. But having a Dark in play is actually better. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm only going to get 4 block, but he's only going to do 5 damage, that's fine. You know what card I'd really like right now? There's one called Apotheosis. And when you play it, it upgrades all the cards in your deck for the rest of the combat. And that's great. He's still not attacking, which is very nice of him. Um, I... Oh, look, what I could do. I could do 2 Cold Snaps. Then the Dark would be at the front. And then I could do Recursion do the 12 damage and still get it back. And that would also give me a lot of block. That's pretty good. This also gets me a lot of block, but the Frost Orbs... I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm done explaining myself. Um, I'll attack this guy just because uh, this guy only takes half attack damage. So, And now, yeah, it's still got the 12 damage. So that's going to keep building. That's great. And hit the bird, which is what I would have chosen if I could have chosen. And I've got enough block. That actually worked pretty well. It does feel like there's just more to think about with a defect. I feel like it's just more brain work, which I like. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's going to do 21 damage. <laughs> okay. Well, tell you what, I'm definitely doing this. Uh, I don't have a lot of defense options. I can do this. Okay, if I play these three... Um, no, that's not good, actually. Uh, I do want Defrag, and I do want Cool-Headed. Um, but Capacitor's not so good, because then playing Cool-Headed doesn't... I suppose I could play Capacitor afterwards. Is that good? Um, I probably want to play Defrag first. Yeah, I will. Oops. <laughs> Missed. Okay, so now all these things that used to do two per turn, now do three per turn. And this thing, instead of gaining 6 damage per turn, gains 7 damage per turn. And focus, it just adds 1 to everything. So it adds 1 to the passive benefit, and it adds 1 to the evoke benefit. And because the passive benefit's usually very small, adding 1 to them is a big deal. Adding 1 to the evoke benefit is not as good. You know, this used to evoke for 5 block, and now it evokes for 6 block. Nice, but not a big difference. Whereas, it's 50% more effective as a, as a passive. Um, okay. That was focused. I wanted to play focus before I do cool headed because when this thing gets evoked, it's now going to get me more block than it would have otherwise. I think I just have to do this. Might draw some defense as well. Ooh, ooh. I could do amplify and capacitor and get four orb slots. Is that even a good thing? I don't know. It's actually kind of not because I want to push this dark forwards. Oh man, with. If I get recursion often enough. Every time it's at the front, I put it back to the back, and it just keeps building and building and building. That could be amazing. Um, hmm. What am I on for block? I'm on 12. <laughs> I'm going to take 26. <laughs> That's not good. Um, if I play Zap, I get 3 more block and a 15. Still pretty bad. And what's going to come up? probably not going to get dual cast next turn, which is a shame. So I might do... Maybe I play Zap so that this thing goes forwards, and then I play Capacitor. Because playing Amplify by itself obviously is useless. Um, yeah, weirdly this is the move that gets me more block. And then... I think I want Capacitor. Capacitor makes it harder for me to evoke this. God, that's going to be my hand next turn. That is next turn's hand. So if I do play Capacitor, I won't be able to evoke the Dark next time. Because um, I'll have too many spare slots, so adding more orbs won't push this one forwards. 
So I think I might want to not do that. And in fact, the, the dark dark always hits the weakest enemy, the most the least health one. So it's going to hit him and it's going to kill him. So that's actually really good. So I think I just do nothing. Because also playing capacitor is going to make him daze me more. I think I just leave it. Take a bunch of damage. And I'll have a shit hand next turn. I think that's the best of a bad lot. 11. Okay. Um, so I do... I should do ball lightning against him. And... Yeah. Alright, kill the bird. <laughs> I don't have much block. And I'm going to take some damage. These days cards, I can't remember if I mentioned, but they're, uh, if I don't play them, they get exhausted, which is good. So they're not like a permanent problem, but obviously he keeps giving them to me. Yeah, I'm in a rough way. This is a difficult fight. 19! 19! Alright, I can do dual cast and defend and ball lightning. I think that's good. Because I just need shitloads of block. Yeah. It's gonna daze me a lot for this, but gotta do it. I'm still gonna take damage. So is he. Is my imagination or did he not take damage from some of those? It's only half health, fucking hell. Alright, I should do his power, shouldn't I? That's interesting, I've got so many dazed, but none of them came up in the stick. Um, these are all attacks, which is nice, actually. Shall I cold snap, cold snap, zap? Or shall I do buffer so that I've got it when he next does a nasty attack? I think the cold snap option is the highest damage, and it leaves me with a decent amount of lightning. Uh, I think you should do lightning first, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, Cold Snap's a great card to have against him because it's an attack, so he doesn't get angry about it. Doesn't give me days, but it protects me as well. You can see why I'm excited about upgrading my focus card, because right now, getting three from each is very nice, but when it's four, you know. <laughs> I don't have to explain that to you, I don't think. Okay, shall I just do Tempest? It's actually slightly more effective to do this first, but I'm going to do Tempest because it's going to be more spectacular. Oh, well, it wasn't that spectacular. Because <laughs> it stops it before anything else happens. Alright. Chill. Channel 1 Frost Reach Enemy in Combat. That's kind of nice. You know, at worst, that's 1 Frost. There's never 0 enemies. <laughs> if there is, you don't need to worry about anything. Um, and it exhausts itself, so it's not taking up space in the deck. I think that's very good. Uh, aggregate gain energy for every 6 cards in your draw pile. Uh, 22 cards total. So at most, that's 3 energy. Um... But a lot of time that wouldn't be a benefit to me. Reboot. They've improved the art for this since I last played. Um, shuffle all of your cards into your draw pile, then draw five cards. So this is like you reset your hand, you actually kind of reset your whole deal because all the stuff in your discard pile goes back in your draw pile as well. It is really good actually uh, if, if you've got cards you want to. So if you don't get dealt bad hand and this is in it, then you get to take it again. Um, you also uh, it's a way of like if you just played something really good you can then play this and it will be back in your draw pile rather than being a long way away this one potentially lets me get to defrag faster so I like that what happens when you upgrade it? 7 cards, nice um, what happens when you upgrade that? oh, it's in your starting hand that's nice. I am really torn on this. I do have a lot of frost already, don't I? I think it should be this. Alright, campfire. Definitely want the campfire. And I definitely want to upgrade, even though I'm only on half health. Uh, and I definitely want to upgrade this. Okay, now what? I've 
I've got to face an elite and I don't have a lot of health. Um, so maybe I'd rather do a question mark first. Or, if I go this way, I face an elite, yes, but there's no chance of losing any health before I do so. And then I immediately get a campfire to heal up at. I think I should do that. Oh, there's a shop further up. Oh, I've got no money anyway. I'm... Yeah, I'm doing this. I've got a block card. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Everything is going my way. I got Amplify and Upgraded Defrag in the same hand. So I can... Oh, only one other thing to check. Did I get the energy card? No. Um, yeah, I'm just doing that. Let's... Don't have to think too hard about this. He says, thinking hard about it. I just got four focus, and now my lightning is doing seven damage every turn, and each of these, every frost orb will get me four defense. I'm going to take eight uh, damage, potentially, but... Hey, did anything go in my discard pile? Oh, Amplify did. So I could reboot just to get that back. Um, of these, I think, I've only got one left. I do want a frost, because I need some defense. And I think I'll just attack the weakest guy with this. My deck is very much like a build-up one, so I don't need to try and focus this guy down. I will hopefully do okay on this. And I think I might reboot, because the card's in there. There's only two cards in there. Uh, and I want them back, frankly. Oh, they get dealt now. Oh, shit. That was maybe a mistake. Because now I've just got dealt a bunch of good ha cards that I don't have the energy to play. Oh, well. Ooh, that guy's nearly dead. Oh, my lightning is going to be so good. Oh shit, that, that had six defense, not four. I get four extra defense. I forgot how maths works. Okay, well, <laughs> there's a fuckload of damage coming in, so I'm quite glad I do have that. Um, auto shields is going to help me out a lot here, I think. Um, that reboot was a big mistake. I forgot that it dealt you cards as well. Uh, I could do this... And then if I also do... Yeah, th these are actually better than defense now. That's great. And now, this is awful tempting, because then I have 18 defense, and that gets channeled for 12 damage, which is cool no matter who it hits. I actually, right now, I have 23 defense. Yeah, I do need more. I'll do that. Yeah, and I killed one of them, so that saved me some damage. There. I'll still take damage, but not too, too much. Actually, I would like that capacitor now. Blimey, I don't have a lot of good stuff here. I don't really want frost. Um, I'll do this because I <laughs> just need more cards. Uh, oh, that's great. Uh, actually, if I'm going to do frost first... No, I want lightning to be as far forward as possible, don't I? So, should I yield to him? Maybe not. Maybe I should focus on this guy. Okay, a shit ton of block. Uh, what the hell? Let's have a lot more block. It doesn't carry over, unfortunately, but 44 block on that turn. How the fuck did I get 44 block? I'm actually a little bit confused by that. That's crazy high. Channeling these gets 9. But I didn't do that like 20 times. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I want Capacitor. This is actually a good time to play Capacitor because I have Recursion in my hand, which means I get to evoke something even though... Um, gosh, he sure has a lot of minions. And these guys get... Whenever a Mad Gremlin takes attack damage, it gains 1 strength. Okay, so attacking them is actually not a good idea. Um... Okay, I have two energy. I want to play Recursion, Zap, and Cold Snap. I can't do all of that. Uh, if I'm going to play a Lightning, it should be it should be first. I'm not gonna force evoke anything, which means if I play Recursion, it will be for the Frost thing. How much damage am I going to take? Eight plus seven, which is fifteen. I've got twelve already, so that's great. If I do even just one of these, I'm I'm golden. Um, so I don't need to evoke that. 
doesn't really help me. I think I should do zap and then cold snap. Because damage is really helpful right now. And I won't attack these guys because I just learnt that doesn't help me. Team. Gosh, it really feels like I'm going to take more than that, but I guess I'm not. Nope, I'm fine. Another victory for mass. Yikes. Oh god, they're all getting real strong now. Um. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay, Jesus fuck. God. Um. This seems like a good turn for Tempest. I don't think this is a good one because there's just so many instances of damage. Um, and my frost is so good now. I can amplify it, but that's my whole turn and it only blocks two damage, uh, two attacks. And there's just shit of attacks coming in. Okay, so if I'm not playing those, I could play Ball Lightning, Cool Headed, and Tempest. I could play. The only choice is do I want to play all lightning or. Either way, it's three lightning. Oh, sorry, if I play all lightning, it's three lightning. And so that means both these get evoked for nine block each. I will have 24 block. That's actually not enough. They're <laughs> doing so much fucking damage. Um, okay, I think I've established that I'm definitely going to play cool headed. And that might get me some more defense cards. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Because I already evoked that one orb, I can't use this. But I can do more defense. And I should. Yep. It also draws another card. Which is actually defense. Um, am I at risk of having too much defense? What have I got right now? I have 4 times 6, which is 24, plus this, 33. No, I do not have too much defense. I do not have enough defense. So I think I actually just do this. Fucking hell, that's a lot of damage. That's just a lot of damage. My lightning is not cutting it. It's barely scratching them. Shit. It's just going to make them stronger and stronger. This isn't even the boss. Oh, fucking hell, that's a huge amount of damage. This is untenable. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to survive this. Uh... I can tell you I'm going to play a dark, oh that was good, and I'm going to hit him, and I'll play a defend. I don't think there's much in the way of decisions to make there. The defend wasn't necessary, but I didn't have anything else to spend my energy on. I think if I kill the minions, he has to spend a turn summoning more. Oh, no, right now it's just making them better and better. I think if, oh, 15 times 3, he's going to do 45 damage to me. Fucking hell. So I'm already at the point where Frost Orbs are better than Defends, um, so I'm definitely going to Dual Cast, Cool Headed, oh, Buffer would have been, no, it wouldn't have been that good. I think I'm just going to die here. Um, 20, 20, they are going to do 65 damage to me. I'll drink the Block Potion as well, I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, I think I might survive. But that was it. That's all I got. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely dead. There's no way I can win this now. Um, gosh, this is 26 damage already. That's nice. But it's going to hit one of his minions. That's the problem. I could... I'm only going to take 20 damage this time. So I've got 18 block already from that. So block is actually not a problem this time. Uh, so I'm quite tempted to do... Tempest. Just get three lightning. That is going to channel the dark, which is not ideal, actually. I almost wonder if I should waste an energy. I could either waste it on... If I just do Tempest... Hmm. Maybe I do a Cold Snap. What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> Why did I do that? That doesn't help me at all. I still Tempest is still no use to me. 
because it's going to do two orbs and it's still going to channel the, that one. I don't want it to do that. Uh, I guess I just don't play Tempest. But I really wanted the damage. Oh, fuck. It's going to spend 26 on him. I don't want to. I'm going to play this instead. I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh, recursion. I do know what I'm doing. That kills one of them, and I still get to keep it, and it still builds. That is good. Dual cast would have been better because it would have killed both the minions, but I will take that. I'm still going to die. Next time he attacks, I'm dead. Yeah, 18 times 3, that's not going to be blocked. <laughs> that is not a thing I can block. Alright, I could just do... Um, I guess both the frosty things and then the ball lightning. It does pretty matter because I'm just dead. And kill him. That'll shave off a bit. Oh, and that means the dark will hit him, but it's, just, it's irrelevant because I'm not going to survive that long. What have I got? 36 block. He's going to do nearly 60 damage. I'm dead. Yeah, frost orbs didn't really pay off for me. <laughs> Wasn't that good of a strategy. I just like him. I've seen him do amazing things. Uh, let's see. The score is pretty pathetic. Well, that's a cautionary tale for you all. <laughs>